Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitch and Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show you how to do some editing in your Sew Up Pro software with your text. Here are some fonts that were imported. Uh, this is from another one of our members, and she was asking how to remove the S. Uh, we want to go up here to uh, edit and split pattern, or you can use a keyboard by using the Alt key and the letter S. And just click it once, left click it, and then you get your split pattern menu come up. And I've got select points uh, selected here, and that's what we want to use. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit to make it easier to see. And then I click my zoom button because it's easier uh, to see what you're doing and gives you a little more control. And this is gold thread. So let's look at our gold colors here. There we go. There's the S. And that's great because since it's separated by itself, all we have to do is actually just right click it and click delete thread. And that removed it. But now we have a problem because we have a space there that doesn't look very good. So what we can do now is um, we can select Psalm. We still got the split pattern open, and uh, these are multicolors, but they're not attached to anything. So all we have to do is just left click once, click again, and click all around here. And we've got the circle joined. Go up here to cut pattern, and you have uh, four different options. If you remove the interior, that removes everything in this box, which we don't want to do. Remove exterior is you know pretty self-explanatory. That removes everything else except for some. Cut and save all is what we really want to do. So we're going to do cut and save all. And then we'll click close. And we can um, select this. Select the letters in the name. Hold down the control button. That's the way you do this. And left click each letter number that you want to move. And then you come over here. And you notice how your cursor changes from a pointed cursor to crosshairs. When it becomes crosshairs, that means that you can move it. So you can click on this, and it's best to use your arrow key to move this over. And if it jumps over too much, you can hold down the control key and press the left arrow button or the right, depending on what you're going to do, and then it will nudge it. See how it's going in short increments here? There we go. That looks pretty good right there. And let's look at this. I was looking at this part here, and it looks kind of funny. Uh, let's find the gray for the dots. Okay, it's pewter colored. Okay. Uh, this looks kind of funky because it's got this little dot next to this. Let's get back into split pattern. Go to edit, split pattern, or the alt key and the letter S. Left click it. And we're back in this again. This time, this is a good uh, time to use the eraser tool. So left click the eraser tool. And come down here and click. Or you can hold down the left mouse button and just kind of move it up and down to erase the parts. There. And since we've all, only got this part selected, the stitch block, that's always important. Select just the stitch block you're wanting to edit because then that's the only part of the design that will be edited. And then you can, uh, if you've got more that you want to edit, you can left click this once 
Now lock in the changes, as you can see here on the screen. And I'm not real crazy about the width of this hyphen. So I'm going to click my eraser tool again. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to click once. I'm going to go immediately below it and click again. And that looks pretty good there now. And you can either click this to lock it in, or you can just click, click close. And it'll prompt you to save it if you didn't already. And that's all there is to it. And let's see, we can zoom back out and see what we've got now. And that looks very nice now. Uh, she may want to center this again. So what we need to do is you can't just select that section. So what you want to do is click each color there. Let me look, see if this is connected. Blue. Let's just uh, do all these colors here in the name again like we did before. We've got this one highlighted already. So we hold down the control button, click each color. Uh, we need to do the rest of the psalm uh, first. And we've got our control button pressed down. Okay, now we can move this. Oops, for some reason it deselected itself here. Let's go back up here and start again. There it is. Okay. Hold down the control button and click again. This is already to move. So I've got my crosshairs here. Hold down my left mouse button. And I can move this over a little bit, or I can use my arrow keys. There, that's centered a little better now. And then it's ready to save. And uh, I'll do save as because I didn't back it up first. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to call it Wyatt Edited. That way, I still got my original file. I click save. And then we can also get through the tools. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. Edit and join uh, threads is Control J. Is the keyboard command. So click join threads. And you can do join adjacent color uh, threads of the same color. I don't think she really has any, but we can try this and we'll see how that helps. If everything is a different color. The design looks good. So anyway, you all have a great day, and thanks for stopping by. If you have any ideas for um, any more videos that you'd like to see, just please let me know. My email address is sweetstitchin at yahoo.com. That's S-W-E-E-T-S-T-I-T-C-H-N at yahoo.com. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.